Welcome to Mega Jack Gaming, and this review is going to be on a DOS Classic that I had a little bit after the time it was released. A game I loved at the time, but today we're going to see how it holds up against numerous other games of the genre. It's a game developed by Probe Entertainment, published by Acclaim Entertainment, and it's part of the Alien series. And that is Alien Trilogy. Released for the PC, November 30th, 1996. It's a single-player, first-person shooter. You take the role of Ellen Ripley, and it's a story loosely devised, derived on the first three films of the Alien franchise. The game is also re released for the Sony PlayStation and Sega Saturn earlier this year, and I haven't played any of those enough to fully comment on it. And it does have does have quite a low rating on a lot of places, including getting a 0 0.5 out of 5 out of Computer Games Magazine, GameSpot giving a 4 out of 10, and a 43% on GameRankings.com. Not that good of a review. But I remember. I remember the game growing up. I don't remember it being that bad. So I guess it's time to see what's it. If it's as bad as I remember. As bad as the reviewers say. Or if it's as good as I remember. Let's get into the game. And it's time to play. There's multiplayer. Supposedly. Although I've never played it, let's put on a lower difficulty since I'm recording and trying to talk at the same time. And it's been a while since I've played it. You get the mission, Bruce, and you're advanced. Advised to clear the entrance for the Marine Drop Crew by removing crate barrel barricades and dispatching any xenomorphs you may encounter. Note that due to the protective design of the barrels, for transportation, your 9mm will be ineffective in their removal. Search out alternative means. We start off with the graphics, which aren't terribly impressive by modern day standards. But at the time they were, in 1996, these were passable. They weren't good, but they were passable. As far as the shooting goes, Shooting does feel quite empty. But the controls are fairly spot on. It's highly pixelated, but this is a classic game, so we're not going to hold it against it for being a bit pixelated. So these are what I gotta move. To have a radar on the screen, it helps helps denote where you are on the map. There are some interactable uh, some environmental objects you can interact with. There we got an auto mapper. So it plays a lot like your classic Doom style game where you find a lot of switches to get into new areas to collect items to proceed forth. There we go, we got a real weapon now. We got the shotgun. And I remember this shotgun. Uh oh. I think I see an alien. So yeah, the, the frame rate isn't terribly amazing. Graphics aren't terribly good. It, it's a fun game in its own right. The radar it does seem a bit quirky at times, but it, it's good enough. It is one of those games where you just kind of shoot in a certain direction. 
and you're likely to hit something. When you run, there is a bit of a bounce effect, like there would be if, if you had a, a GoPro attached to your head. Oh, there, we, we bagged ourselves a second big alien. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the Alien series, mostly because I haven't really watched enough of it to have an opinion on it. We need a battery for this one, so we'll go back up. So yeah, this is basically the game, except you have different environments. Your missions do change from room to room, or from level to level, but they're all basically the same style of mission, where it's find an object, dispatch a bunch of xenomorphs, and move on. As far as AI goes for a different xenomorphs, by no means is a brilliant AI, but it's good enough for the time. Hey, where, where are you going? You're gonna run away? Where are you taking me? So, this is Alien Trilogy. Let's get rid of some more of these barrels. That's all you got? got a med kit. Durham patch. And you do have some voice acting where it makes some comments as you go along. Problem is with the way the person moves, the uh, swaying motion, it does make you feel the same thing you'd feel if you were seasick after playing a while. It's a bit headache inducing. You combine the low res graphics with the bouncing movement, and it does get in the way a bit. Let's switch over to the pistol. You don't need the shotgun at the moment. So if I go this way, there's going to be a couple of these alien creatures. So yeah, the controls are good enough for this style of game. The, the shooting doesn't feel, seem to have much oomph behind it. But the different weapons do have enough of a difference where you do feel like you're using different weapons. Graphics are a bit pixelated and grainy. However, the different environments are are nice to look at. It does get rather dark, but that adds to the whole aesthetic. You're not in a well-lit area. So having everything be brightly lit would take away a bit of the immersion. And now it's time to switch over to this. Puzzles at time do get a bit do get a bit old and samey. Seems like you're doing a lot of the same things over and over and over. And the level design isn't on par with Doom or Duke Nukem. And th this alien doesn't care about this pistol too much. Okay, take note. Big aliens don't care about little weapon. And the pistol is the fallback weapon. You're never going to run out of ammo for the pistol. Now let's see if they fall on me. Like what happened in a proper game. Sort of. They're coming after slowly, but the AI isn't the best in this game either.
So the sound effects, the graphics, the gameplay. If you're looking for the middle of the road first person shooter from 1996. Not a bad one. This isn't a creature shock. But you just wanted an average average one that is still fun to play. This would be the epitome of that average first person shooter from the mid 90s that's still playable. It has a lot of charm. It's not a bad game. It's one if you can get it for the cheap. I wouldn't. Altogether, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. Like I said, it has a mapping feature. It has a lot of the features you'd expect from a game like this. And it's one that, if you're into the genre, into Aliens, and you've gone through a lot of the other Aliens games, Aliens vs. Predator 1 and 2, and some of the others, it might be worth a try. Now if you're wanting to buy Alien Trilogy, you can get a PlayStation copy right now at GameStop, for, used for $7.99. Other copies for PlayStation run about $12. Let's see here, trying to find the PC version of Alien Trilogy. It doesn't look like it's on any of the major sites. However, you, if you go on eBay, you can get the P. Let's find a PC copy. Apparently, the PC copy is a bit hard to find. Definitely easier easier to find the PlayStation copy, which isn't. From when I played it, I'll remember it being that much different. Alien Trilogy PC. Oh, hundred dollars. That's a no, not a hundred dollars. Alien Trilogy forty four. Yeah, this game's going for quite a bit of money. I'd have no qualms parting with this one for $44. If you can pick up a copy for less than 20 you enjoy Aliens. You enjoy 90s first person shooters. And you've played some of the other Aliens games that are better, such as Alien vs. Predator and Alien vs. Predator 2. Or as far as multiplayer goes, even Alien Arena. The freeware game is better. But this does have a lot in it that's worth playing. Some interesting missions, some interesting maps, some mediocre to good gun choices and gun physics. The movement does get up. Does create some headaches from time to time. But overall it's a it's a it's a, a slightly above average first person shooter from the time. As far as where I'd score it, I'm gonna put it in the in the slightly above average range, so it's going to go in the C plus range, and I'll put it right below Twisted Metal 2 and right above Adventures of Mad Dog Williams. Like I said, it's not a bad game. It has a lot going for it. If you enjoy Aliens, the whole Aliens vs. Predator lore, the missions are somewhat repetitive but are still fun to go through. And the graphics, even though they were dated for the time even, do have a bit of charm and uniqueness, making a quite the fun experience in short doses. So, that's the game, Alien Trilogy. If you can get a copy on the cheap, you like first person shooters, like Aliens, definitely get it. If not, feel free to skip it. Or if you've never played any of the Aliens-inspired games, go with Aliens vs. Predator, the 2000 classic release, or Aliens vs. Predator 2, which are better games. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.